Hello everyone, good morning and in this video we will discuss about design of FIR filter using window techniques. Now basically FIR is nothing but finite impulse response filter. It can be designed using several window techniques that we have listed out. It can be rectangular window technique, hemming, hanging window technique, bar plate window technique which is also known as triangular window technique and the next one is geyser window technique. Now we will see one by one starting with rectangular window technique. Now as far as the inner city uh, examination is considered, most of the time the questions are going to be asked either by using rectangular window, hemming or hanging. And it may be possible uh, most of the questions on this one. Now how will you design this? That we will see with the help of an example. Here it is the example. Design a FIR filter using rectangular window with the following specifications. Now in this case, they have given us frequency response that is HD e raised to J omega where this is nothing but uh, response of the desired filter which is given as an exponential term for the frequency component minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 and otherwise the value is going to be 0. Now they have given us the length also, length of the filter should be 7 and uh, the frequency that we are, uh, we are going to use is nothing but 1 radian per sample. Now whenever the questions are going to be arise like this, always go for the first step. The first step is response of the given filter can be determined. Now we have to design a fire filter. So I am writing response of filter is in time domain we can write hn is equal to. Now they have given us the input as frequency response of the desired filter so we can write this as hdn that is nothing but impulse response of the desired filter if i take its inverse we will get hdn into whichever the technique that we are using here we are using a rectangular window technique so i am writing omega r of n <coughs> where r stands for rectangular and it is a function of time now these values can be determined with the help of length length is 7 that means small n can be taken from 0 to n minus 1. So if I put those values, we will get n is 7 minus 1 is 6. So total 7 samples are there starting with 0 to 6. Now if you see, uh, this is a filter. The filter can be a low pass, high pass, band pass or band stop filter. So first we will determine which type of filter it is. So as typically I am drawing the characteristics of this filter. Now if you see, HD e raised to j omega. It has a magnitude e raised to minus j3 omega in between minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4. That means if I take this is minus pi by 4, this is plus pi by 4. So in this range, it has value e raised to minus j3 omega. And for the next values, the amplitude is 0. That means here it is 0 and here we are getting finite term. So by these characteristics, we can say that this is going to be a low pass filter. It is passing only a low band frequencies and rejecting all higher frequencies. That means definitely this is going to be a low pass filter. Now we will come across determining H of n. Now we need two terms. First term is we have to determine HDN. Now HDN can be obtained. Here it is e raised to j3 or j omega. So we can take its inverse Fourier transform. So I am writing it here. Taking inverse Fourier transform of the given term HD e raised to j omega. So the formula we have HDN is equals to 1 upon 2 pi minus pi to plus pi. Function is same into e raised to j omega n into d omega. Now we will put those values 1 by 2 pi as it is now here we have limits from minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 so this is minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 this function is given exponential e raised to minus j3 omega into e raised to j omega n into d omega now in order to integrate this the base is same so we can take some power terms common so i can write 1 by 2 pi as it is minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 e raised to if you take uh, the term as omega as common as well as j as common so we are left with maybe n minus 3 so if i take e raised to j omega so it is n minus 3 into 
d omega now it is just a matter of integrating exponential function for the limit minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 so let us integrate this term we will keep this aside here it is 1 by 2 pi exponential functions integration e raised to j omega n minus 3 divided by integration with respect to omega we will get n minus 3 and uh, this is going to be from minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 now the next term is just simplifying this we have j also here now just putting those limits i'm taking n minus 3 outside so we'll try this pi into n minus 3 upper limit e raised to j this is pi by 4 into n minus 3 minus lower limit is minus pi by 4 so e raised to minus j pi by 4 into n minus 3 divided by this 2 we'll put it here and this j will keep as it is now we have kept 2j because here we are getting the term e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta so maybe it can be converted into sine form so we have written this one now if you see this is as good as a sine theta so you can write pi n minus 3 into sine theta that is nothing but this entire angle sine of n minus 3 into pi by 4 so this we got as impulse response of the desired filter that means we got this term now we have to go for tw uh, that uh, rectangular function w r n now how can you write rectangular function so typically rectangular function will have a constant value as 1 from 0 up to n minus 1 now this is known as rectangular function because if i connect those samples so it gives a structure as rectangular hence it is known as a rectangular function and its magnitude that i am writing here w r n will be 1 for n 0 to n minus 1 and otherwise it will be 0 that means for the given samples amplitude is 1 otherwise the amplitude is going to be 0 now the, the, the process is just we have to multiply these two terms now to multiply this that is determining the coefficients we will <coughs> rearrange these terms we will keep this aside we will form one table for this and we will try to determine the values from 0 to 6 that is 0 to n minus 1 that is nothing but 0 to 6 now let us write the coefficients of h of n first in first column we will write all values of n that can be from 0 to 6 in second column we'll write the function that we have determined hdn is sine of n minus 3 pi by 4 divided by pi into n minus 3 this is our function in third column we'll write rectangular function omega rn and here we'll write product of this as h of n so i'm writing those values 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 let this 7 so we will get 6 samples now just we just have to put those values first when i put n as 0 we will get this is sin minus 3 pi by 4 this n 0 means minus 3 pi uh, this i am writing aside <coughs> these are the calculations sin of minus 3 pi by 4 for first value into minus 3 pi now you know that sin minus theta is nothing but minus sin theta so by this minus minus we will get cancelled now if you put those values in your calculators we will get this value as 0 0.075 next when i consider 1 again this will be sine of 1 minus 3 will be minus 2 pi by 4 upon pi into minus 2 the angle uh, that negative sign will get cancelled this is pi by 2 and this is there so we will get this value as 0 0.1 9. Similarly for 2 we will get 0 0.225 these values we already calculated that I am considering here next and important is when I consider 3 now if I put 3 here 3 minus 3 will be 0 that means denominator becomes 0 and hence impulse response becomes infinite but it is not possible the, re the reason is this is an FIR filter finite impulse response filter 
so what should we do so we can make an arrangement over here this is given as good as sine theta upon theta's form so if i uh, put limit as theta tends to 0 we can get the value as 1 so for that case we have to make this arrangement i'm writing it here for n is equals to 3 sin n minus 3 into pi by 4 upon we have pi into n minus 3 so we have to make it pi by 4 into n minus 3 so that sin theta <coughs> and this becomes theta so only term is when i adjusted 4 here it should be multiplied with 1 by 4 so that this 4 goes to the numerator and both will get cancelled now it is as good as in the form of sin theta by theta and we know this property limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta will be 1 and by this way we have this entire magnitude as 1 into this term is 1 by 4 that means when n is 3 we are getting this value as 1 upon 4 next when i put 4 over here now it will reverse and uh, we will get this value 0 0.225 next 0.159 and next we will get 0 0.075 now see it shows a symmetry about this point we have seen one concept about this one linear phase realization of your fire filters so it shows symmetry about origin or symmetry about n is equals to 3 the values are going to be repetitive now once you got this we will come across <coughs> rectangular function omega rn now the value is going to be 1 for entire term so this is 1 1 1 1 1 1 and 1 next is we have to just multiply them h of n for the first term we will get 0 0.075 0 0.159 0 0.225 1 by 4 0 0.225 again 0 0.159 and this is 0 0.075 so this is how you can calculate coefficients of your fire filters now uh, if you want to extend this the, the term is going to be you can put it h of z is equals to this is a digital filter we have h of n into z raised to minus n starting from minus infinity to plus infinity now here the length is given from 0 to 6 h of n into z raised to minus n so you can put those values either h is 0 z raised to 0 will be 1 h1 z inverse plus h2 z raised to minus 2 plus so on up to the last case h6 into z raised to minus 6 now we have this coefficient so you can put those values and that becomes a part of digital filter as h of z even if you come across this one it will be fine so in this way you can design it using rectangular windows now if the same question is asked using hemming window the change that going to be only this function that means up to this part remains same only this term is going to be changed now let us see the same example with the help of hemming and hanging window also so this is there or uh, if you want to design it h of z or if you want to write this as a digital filter you can go for linear phase realization also where it is symmetrical about origin here number of samples are odd seven are there so you can use that technique also now let us see this example with the help of Hamming window so the steps are going to be same only only one column values are going to be changed so I'm writing those values same starting with 0 to 6 these values are 0.75 then this is 0 0.159 0 0.225 1 by 4 then it is same 0 0.159 0 0.075 now we'll come across Hamming window HM of n so the formula typically is 0.54 minus 0.46 into cos of 2 pi n upon m minus 1 this will write h of n sure this is the formula of uh, or function of having window 0.54 minus 0.46 cos 2 pi n upon m minus 1 now here we have to simply uh, put the values here this capital m is nothing but 7 length is 7 and small n is going to be changed from 0 to 6 now when you put those values starting with the first as 0 you can see 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 cos this entire value is 0 because n is 0 
cos 0 will be 1 so it is a difference of 0.44 with 0.46 and if you want to calculate those values in the same way we will get the same answer so the first sample value will be difference of 0.54 with 0.46 that will get 0.08 next when I consider n is equals to 1 we will get I am writing it here this is a rough part 0.46 into cos 2 pi upon 6 so this is pi by 3 so you can write the same term 0.54 minus 0.46 cos of pi by 3 so we'll get this is 0 0.31 next when I consider 2 here this is 0.46 into cos n is 2 so it is 4 pi divided by 6 so it will be 2 pi by 3 so we'll make the change over here 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 cos of 2 pi by 3 so we'll get 0 0.77 when I consider n is equals to 3, we will get 0.46 into cos of this is 3 into 2, 6 pi by 6. So definitely this will get cancelled. Cos pi will be minus 1, and this becomes simply the addition of 0.54 with 0.46, that is 1. So we are getting this value as 1. Next, when I consider 4 here will get 0.46 into cos 8 pi by 6 so this will be 4 pi by 3 so this is 0.54 minus 0.46 into cos 4 pi by 3 we are getting 0.77 so one thing is sure now again the values are going to be repetitive so we will get 0 0.31 and this is 0 0.08 now just multiplication of this and we'll get h of n so by this you can calculate uh, coefficients of your fire filter using hamming window now if the question is asked uh, to determine this or to design a fire filter using hanging window the steps are same only this function is going to be changed now simply i will uh, give you the formula of hamming window and the process is going to be same so as far as the hanging window is considered we can write this as whn of n this is hanging window it will be 0.5 plus that is there 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos of 2 pi n divided by m minus 1 or if you multiply this we will get the same term minus 0.5 minus this one so in this way you can design a fire filters either using rectangular hamming or hanging windows thank you